With Muse, you can record audio being shared with the session directly into your DAW. If someone is sharing audio you want to record, you can click the R button next to the device and the recording process begins. The drop-down list shows additional recording settings to help with delay compensation, but we'll cover this more later. To avoid issues related to internet connection, it's recommended for both users to record at the same time. This workflow will help prevent lost takes and preserves the highest quality audio at the source in case anything goes wrong. If I'm recording test user 1, the ideal recording process works like this. Test user 1 should have their DAW open and ready to record what they're playing. I'll also have my DAW open on the track I want to record into. When I press R on test user 1's device, Muse will automatically start the recording in their DAW and they can begin playing like normal. After a few seconds, Muse will then trigger the record in my DAW and then the audio will begin recording over the network directly into the selected track. When you're done recording, you can press the R button again and Muse will stop recording in both users' DAWs. The end result is that test user 1 has the original recording in their project and I will have the audio recorded over the network in my project. If there were any issues during the recording process, test user 1 can simply send over the original recording so we can keep working uninterrupted. You can start recording at any time, even if the user being recorded doesn't have their DAW open, but there is a small chance for the network to affect the recording, which is why we recommend both users record at the same time. Before you begin recording, there are a few things you have to set up in your DAW and in the Muse recording settings. There are two devices Muse creates to help with the recording process, the Muse recording device and the Muse DAW controller. The Muse DAW controller triggers a record in your DAW for you, and the Muse recording device streams the audio coming from Muse to your DAW. Before you record, make sure both devices are set up properly in your DAW settings. If you're recording someone else in the session, you'll need to use the Muse recording device as an input. For the Muse recording device, open your DAW audio settings and set the audio input to Muse recording. Then select this as the input for the track you want to record audio into. The Muse DAW controller is used both by the user being recorded and the user recording the audio. To properly set this up, go into your DAW settings and set up a Mackie control surface device. Then set the Muse DAW controller as the input for the control surface and enable the device to be used. If you're using a DAW that has key repeat enabled, just make sure that key repeat is disabled for record and stop when recording with Muse. If you need additional help setting up a Mackie control surface with your DAW, you can find the audio recording guide in the support section of our website. Once both users have properly set up these devices, the last thing you need to check are the Muse recording settings. Muse is working toward constantly getting easier to use, but for now, recording audio over the network comes with some latency. Muse compensates for delay, but to optimize for your project, you'll need to adjust some settings manually. Open Muse settings and click on the recording tab. Here, you'll see the delay compensation settings. To optimize for your project, make sure the delay compensation settings match the project settings in your DAW. Muse uses these settings to calculate how long of a delay it needs to make up for. If pre-roll or a recording count-in is enabled in your DAW, turn pre-roll enabled on, then set the project tempo and time signature so Muse knows to start recording after the counts. Underneath, you can set the project's sample rate and buffer size to further compensate for delay. You can generally find all of these settings in your DAW's project or audio settings. Under Advanced Settings, you'll see an option to add manual delay compensation. If for some reason you notice that there is a consistent delay across your recordings, you can set a value in milliseconds that Muse will compensate for, additional to what's calculated in the regular DAW settings. Once the recording settings are properly set, you should now be ready to record with minimal latency.